Who, me? I was, uh, I was playing in Las Vegas recently, which is always fun, because, I mean, the audiences are all hopped up on cheap booze and hormones, and, I mean, the, the senior center shows are tough, you guys. But, um, <laughs> but like, late at night after, about midnight after the gig, I like to go out walking on the Vegas Strip a little bit, watch all the ladies carrying the shoes that were a good idea six hours ago. <laughs> I don't know about walking around barefoot in a city that's paved with chlamydia, all right? That seems, <laughs> seems like a bad idea. You're going to get feet herpes. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. It's a bad idea. You've got to build up a protective layer of stripper flyers to keep that from happening, you know? <laughs> Ladies, look, I think we can do away with the, with the high heels, the giant high heels and stuff. Look, I know what they're for. They make everything look more shapely and whatever. But, look, you don't have to walk around like a drunken giraffe, all right? Because newsflash... We'll still look at your butt. All right, doesn't matter if it's here or here. Doesn't really matter. All right. <laughs> but when I go out walking on the strip, it gets a little dicey because as the guys out there get drunker, I start to get real pretty. Oh yeah, from the back, right? From the back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. If I kind of stand like this a little bit, right? <laughs> and I'm wearing heels. <laughs> I like to give them this one, though. When they cat call me, I like to give them this one. Who, me? <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to be that dude's Vegas story, is what I'm saying. Dude, she was cute, but she had pubes on her face. It was weird. I don't know. <laughs> no, I will be the one that got away, man. Yeah. Forever just a fantasy girl known as pube face. That's me. That's me. But I'm used to being the guy. I put myself in situations that I don't quite belong in, you know. And, uh, like, last summer I took my girlfriend to an old-school hip-hop show. It was LL Cool J, Public Enemy, De La Soul, and Ice Cube. Great show. Yeah, very cool show. Started to get a little bit awkward, though, because the whole time they kept doing, put your hands in the air, put your hands in the air, put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air used to be this. And now put your hands in the air is this. That's a bad move for white people. <laughs> That move comes with a tiny mustache and a bunker. <laughs> Lil Wayne does it. He's in the groove. I do it. It looks like I got eye holes in my bed sheets. Okay, it's, it's a bad move. And you might go, well, just bend your elbow a little bit. Just bend your... Well, no, then you're just a racist with lazy triceps. That's not... That's not... My girlfriend was like, put your hand down, cracker. Because <laughs> she's Chinese. And... Uh, but it got me to thinking. I was like, well, it's very close to the black power salute. Right? White power? Black power? White power? I don't think my black friends thought that went through all the way because paper beats rock, right? <laughs> and I think that's why the Asian countries are beating us in so many fields. Look at their vacation pictures. <laughs> that's not peace, that's scissors. We're in trouble, they have tools. 